Mark. This is My Journey Through Tarot. Come on, let's go. Well, it's perfect. Let's do Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge. Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge. What's going on for you right now? So this is one of my favorite decks, the Golden Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian uh, artist. And this is uh, all digital here. Um, I love this box. I mean, look how special it is. And, and it's easy to get the stuff out and use it. I mean, it's like a little uh, presentation. There's no fumbling at all. So except when I use it now, the booklet is pretty good, too. It's Cat Black has written this, it seems like. And so there's a good explanation in the front as to her concept for the artwork, which is amazing. It's usually it's about from the 12 to the 1500s, which she uses in here, which is like cut and paste digital artwork. And then in the back, it talks about her and uh, she's a webmaster and author and artist. And she also she actually lives in uh, Western Australia uh, with her cat, Ellie, by the way. So and I love uh, my uh, tarot reader, Ellie. Uh, dreams down under so she'd be tickled to know this I think uh, so anyway let's look at the cards um, my other favorite uh, uh, reader uh, Violetta uses these cards exclusively they're the only cards she'll use so there you go they're beautiful though and they're not hard to handle they are a little slicky and when they're new they're very gilded on the edge and then as you use them of course that starts wearing off which is sad but um, but they're beautiful, they're easy to read, they're right or white uh, iconography, and you can figure out what the card means without any uh, problem whatsoever. And I actually read that Cat Black, the artist, uh, got her first tarot cards when she was 15. So, you know, she's someone who designed it uh, with, uh, you know, practical knowledge uh, at hand, not just commissioned to do the art, I think. So, anyway, I love these. I hope this is interesting for some of you uh, to look at the different cards when I do this. And uh, it's a good way to mix them up. And uh, so there we go. We'll get this uh, game going here. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. I mean, so far, it seems like she has played her um, cards so well. She's just been graceful. She's been charming. She's not been controversial at all. Just smile and doing her job. And even at uh, a couple of times, seem to be trying to nudge Harry and uh, William together at different uh, uh, rare instances where they met. So, um, Catherine, what's going to go on for you right now? How are you uh, contributing? What's going to be in your future? You know, what are you thinking, Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge? Duchess of Cambridge. She has to see all of this coming together in a way she could never had imagined when she was just a girl uh, in college. You know, imagine that. So, Catherine. The Duchess of Cambridge. What's going on for you right now, my dear? So we'll take six cards. One, two, three, four, right over here, five, and then six. Put these off to the side. We're going to see how this plays out for dear Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge. The signifier card for that, King of Cups. So this is emotion. So she is the absolute tops of what she needs to be right now, which is emotional support. That's exactly right. So she is the king uh, in that category. The challenge to, to that for her then is the nine of cups. And the nine of cups is kind of uh, wishes, wishes fulfilled. And um, it may seem to her that uh, right now um, everything is going as well as it possibly could. And you know, it's interesting to me that there's this little baby in this picture, and I had read somewhere that someone suspected that they might have another child. I don't know. Let's see um, if that plays out. But this is, um, is the Nine of Cups is just everything terrific, So, uh, which is wonderful when you're the person who's lending the emotional support if things seem to be going okay for you. The basis of that reading, then, is the Ten of Swords. So that we'd come off of a period of the end of a cycle, and there was hurt there. And, you know, nobody can doubt that. All of this debacle that's been going on has been very hurtful. But it looks like maybe uh, this is, this is we're near the end of it. And the pass for this reading is the Four of Coins. And the Four of Coins is, this is a, a, looking like a queen who's sitting here really trying to hold on to her worth. She's being studious about it. She's taking uh, account. She's looking through the records. She may be writing in her diary. She may be reading her diary. But uh, this queen is really holding on to her worth. 
uh, until she uh, knows when it's the right time to spend it. And the sky for this reading is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is long-term plans. I mean, this is absolutely where she's at. She sees the future ahead of her. She can almost reach out and touch it, uh, what's going to happen to her. And um, she is um, about to go down in history, much like the Queen Mother uh, of Elizabeth uh, II right now. So, very interesting. The... Um, Likely outcome for all of this, we'll look at that, it's a Seven of Cups. This is uh, having so many choices, really having command of everything that you need to make this uh, work. She's seen it. Her eyes have been opened, and she understands what her place is and what she can do and what, how she can maneuver all of this uh, for, for the rest of her life. Really fascinating. So let's see the self of Catherine right now at this very moment. The self, self, self of Catherine. What's going on for you, dear? The... Um, that card, the self of Catherine, is the king of coin. So she's really recognizing this value. I mean, this comes to us again through the king of coin. So we're liking that very much. And then the um, environment that that's in is right here in the three of swords, broken heart. Well, I mean, you'd have to say that it has to be all the discourse, all the disharmony that's going on right now uh, between the two brothers. And I'm sure it's leaked over into the family. I mean, the whole thing is just a big, uh, unfortunate mess. But the uh, hopes and the fears for all of this is the Eight of Swords. Well, the fear is that we get caught up in this and feel entrapped in uh, the ugliness of all this uh, that's happening. I'm going to guess. But then the likely outcome right here is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is the warrior who's bringing forth a plan. And I think that's who Catherine has learned to be and who she will remain. The Knight of Wands really understanding that it's her job to have a plan to nudge things forward. So yeah, that was really a nice reading for Catherine. I think I'm kind of crooked here. Yeah, how's that? A little bit better? Doesn't matter. I'm going to change shirts and do uh, something else in a minute. Anyway, so Catherine. Um, she, her clothes are never uh, askew. So here we've got, uh, she shows up strong as the King of Cups. I mean, she's the King of Compassion and Emotion when she needs to be. She's the one there for the moral support behind uh, William. It's challenged by, um, and it's not even really challenged, the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, just everything, wishes fulfilled. That's what that is. And with that baby there, I wonder if maybe they're thinking about another baby. Nine of Cups, nine months. Let's see. Um, the uh, basis of that reading was the Ten of Swords, which was a dead stop. Just the end and all the hurt that we've been going through now, but hopefully it's over. And then the past, she comes into this as the queen of, a queen holding onto her four coins until she knows when it's the right time to spend it. Very studious. Uh, she, in the sky, she's making plans, for long-term plans. She sees the future, and I think she can almost touch it and knows what, how things are going to play out <coughs> and how she'll handle them. And then the likely outcome for all of that was in this... Um, Seven of Cups, where she's just got all the choices uh, that she needs to um, to to orchestrate her future. She came on strong in the self as the King of Coins, really the king of all of her value. Uh, the Broken Heart tells us that uh, it's recognizing that's the environment they're in right now, and hopefully we'll be through that. <coughs> we got the cough. And then with the Eight of Swords and the Hopes and the Fears, that's what she's afraid of, that they get caught up in this even longer than they have been. But then she knows the final outcome, that she's going to be the Knight of Wands, the knight with the plan, the one always there, ready to move things forward. Uh, that's your job. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.